Welcome to my channel. It's all about leadership and project management. A lot of people ask me, how do I get into project management? First of all, let's ask the question, what is project management? Project management is the art of executing a plan to get work done. And when I say get work done, you could be working alone or you could be working with a team. In most companies, you work with teams. So if you do want to become a project manager, you need to learn how to work with teams, how to empower teams, and how to get the company from point A to point B through the tasks that are being executed. A lot of this is not necessarily a science of sorts. It's not like engineering or healthcare that has a science to it and formulas and equations. No, you're actually dealing more with people. Now, as you report in project management, you may deal with formulas, but to be a great project manager, it's all about interpersonal skills, team skills, being able to communicate a vision, being able to communicate with a team, and being able to inspire a team. Now, you don't start off in project management right out of the gate having to do all of this full steam. No. I started off as a project coordinator. I started off as a project coordinator in a small engineering firm. And then I grew working with other companies. I ended up taking a professional project management certification and ended up working as a trainer, a coach. That's what I do now. I've written various books on project management, getting rich in project management, project failure, seven symptoms, several remedies, I've written a book called The No Good Leader. But I didn't get to where I am today without the school of hard knocks. So as you get into project management, you are going to get some hard knocks. You are going to learn. I would advise you to learn from others, but also learn from yourself and don't repeat those dumb mistakes. I made some dumb mistakes early in my career. I would never make those mistakes again. I wouldn't do those things. You see, great project management is made great, not because of software tools, not because of formulas, but it's made great because of the great minds and the great attitudes behind the tools. It's all about the interpersonal relationships. Now, Stanford Research Institute conducted a survey way back in time, and they discovered that to succeed in business, it's all about the interpersonal skills. They found out that success was 87% people skills and only 12 or 13% about the product skills. In other words, in the survey that they conducted, they realized people succeed because of interpersonal skills with other people, not because of product prowess. So if you want to be a great project manager and you want to succeed, you got to be a people person. Now, there's a book right here known as the PMBOK Guide. It's called the Project Management Body of Knowledge Guide. I want to read you something from this book just to set you on your journey, because as you begin this journey, you're going to hear many voices, but it's important that you listen to the tested and tried ones, such as the voices in this book. And on page 53, it reads, research shows that successful project managers consistently and effectively use certain essential skills. Research reveals that the top 2% of project managers as designated by their bosses and peers demonstrate superior relationship and communication skills while displaying a positive attitude. That's a positive mental attitude. So project management is a people business. It's not about tools. It's not about tasks. First of all, it's about people. Understanding that you're working the project for people and you're working on the project with people and you're working to deliver ultimately something that people will use and derive value from. So project management is a people business, okay? Now, if you're looking to jump into project management, there are two ways you can get into project management. One is by studying, going through college and getting a job based on what you studied. The other is the school of brute force. And when I say the school of brute force, I'm not saying go in and burst into a company and demand a job. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's brute force on your psyche. You got to tell yourself you can do whatever you want to do. Whatever you set your mind on, you can do it. The question is, will you set your mind on becoming the best project manager that could be in your own realm? 
the best version of you as a project manager. Will you commit to it? If you do commit to it, you will succeed. And the way to start off with the school of brute force is to begin one, studying as much as you can, when you can. Go through this channel, you'll find a ton of videos. You can learn so much just on this channel. But you know what else you should do? Now that I've given you the high level course, in a few minutes, start applying for jobs as a project coordinator. How? I'll show you how. Why don't we jump straight on to monster.com where I've found many high paying jobs, six figure paying jobs throughout my career. So let's go on down to monster.com. I'll show you. Right here, monster.com, type in the words project coordinator. Whichever country you're in, whatever location, it doesn't harm to start trying. There we have an IT project coordinator. Go through the list, see if you can perform whatever they're asking you. And if the answer is yes, apply. If the answer is no, move on to the next job. Another project coordinator job in software. There's a government project coordinator, program coordinator, Apply for these jobs immediately. It will amaze you how many opportunities are out there and they are not requiring certification. All they are requiring, let me give it to you very simply, the person who gets the jobs in many instances is the one who has a can-do attitude and has the aptitude for whatever they're talking about at a high level. Not necessarily the details and the weeds, but I'm speaking from experience. I've been to interviews where I was asked one or two questions and just by my conduct and demeanor, got the job. I've gone to other jobs where it wasn't just at a high level. It went into the weeds and the details. And thank goodness by then, I had gone for professional project management training. In fact, I wrote a dissertation for my master's degree, which was on the barriers to implementing project management information systems. But that was before I started studying the book I just showed you, this one, The Project Management Body of Knowledge Guide. When I started studying the PMBOK Guide, even before I became a project management professional, the door swung wide open just because I mentioned I'm working on professional certification. You see the power of professional certification? I got into that company, did my best, finished the assignments I had there, moved on, found myself in so many well-paying, awesome jobs. One of my favorites was working at Honeywell. That was after I got PMP certified. But you may not be able to get PMP certified right away. Maybe you can just watch videos on this channel for a bit. And when you're ready to move a step forward, it's very easy. It's simple. Study for a certification that only requires a high school diploma. That's all, high school diploma. All they require is for you to prove or have evidence if audited that you have a high school diploma. In addition to that, they're looking for 35 hours of project, I beg your pardon, 23 hours of project management education. And it's called the CAPM exam, C-A-P-M. Now the body behind this is the Project Management Institute, PMI.org. You wanna know a little bit more? Why don't you journey with me and I'll show you. This is how you break into project management. There's no need for waiting around and twiddling your thumbs. Just jump straight into it. So here's PMI's website, all right? Here's a certification. Click on certifications, go to certification types and look for CAPM, Certified Associate in Project Management. There it is right there. Click on it. And this is an entry-level certification. Regardless of your career stage, the CAPM is an asset that will distinguish you in the job market and enhance your credibility and effectiveness working on or with project teams. Now, what do you need to get started with this certification? Well, if you are a member of the PMI, which costs $139, the cost of this exam is 225. Now, I don't work for the PMI, but I can tell you getting a CAPM certification, if you're looking to start as a project manager, this is priceless. And the reason is it puts you at a level that professional project managers can relate to and say, all right, you've got the aptitude, you understand, uh, come work with me as a project coordinator. And I'm telling you, people are looking for project coordinators 
at the CAPM level everywhere. So how do you take this exam? You can actually take this exam in the comfort of your home, believe it or not. But let's click on review tips and resources for this exam. There's a handbook here. It's called the CAPM handbook. Click on it. I would advise read it. There's also a few sample CAPM questions. But if you came aboard training for this, there are questions that will test you in a much deeper level. So review the handbook and decide that this is something you want to do. There's the handbook. It goes into all the details. The CAPM exam. Here are the requirements for the CAPM exam if you want to start off here. And you can see it's requirements, secondary school diploma, and 23 hours of formal education, and that's it. Now, the exam is a three-hour exam. Here are all the pricing details for you to go through. If you're a member, it costs that. If you're not a member, it just costs $300. So you, you may say, I don't want to become a member, although becoming a member has its perks in that you get a free copy of this book called the PEMBOK Guide, and that is what the exam is based on, okay? And if you want to know more about the exam itself, it's uh, 150 questions and three hours. And uh, 15 questions are pre-test questions, uh, kind of trying to survey which questions to introduce into the future, but it's a very straightforward process. My question to you is, are you ready to become a project manager or are you gonna keep sitting on the fence saying, I want to, I wish I, I don't do that. If you truly mean business today, I want you to come on a training and study with me to become a project manager. This is not even talking about the cap M. If you just want to become a project manager, maybe you say, okay, I can't take an exam. I'm scared of exams. That's okay. It's, it's going to limit you. But if you don't want to take an exam, that's fine. How about you study with me? And you know what I want you to do? I want you to go to our website and sign up for training. That's right, right now. Don't miss a beat. This particular opportunity being in the now, like right now, it's going to pass you by. So why don't you take advantage of it when you feel you're in the zone to get it done like I did? How did I get into project management? I brute forced my way into that job, the first one, by saying, I will do this. I can do this. Yes. Yes, I, I can do it. Yes, it wasn't about my master's dissertation. That didn't get me anywhere in the job market. But there were two things that got me in the job market. One was brute force and learning along the way. And the second was getting certified as a professional project manager. Now, some of you have heard about the CAPM and you're like, oh, I don't want to take the CAPM. It's too, it's too elementary for me. I want to take the PMP. Same thing. I challenge you. Go on down to our website. It's praiseon.com. Why don't you study to become a PMP? You see, some folks try to do these things on their own, and years later, they're still in the same spot. They have done nothing with their zeal to move to the next level. I want to challenge you. Get to that next level. Follow me. Go on down to the website. I'll show you right now. That's it. Praiseon.com. And we have a course right here for you. You see the course? It is right here, right here for you. You see that? Three or six months? Click on that and sign up for immediate access. The moment you click on that, you're going to get immediate access to study with us, to study with my buddy Roy and I. We have a phenomenal on-demand course that also has a hand-holding session. In other words, we meet with you to intake you into the course. And all through the course, if you're lost, you can ask questions. So there's the information. Simple as that. You want to become a project manager? Let's do this. All right. My name's Phil. I'm your buddy, your friend, your colleague, taking you through the trajectory to become a project manager. Different levels. Level one, decide to do it. Decide I will become a project manager. But step one, Typically, it's project coordination. You got to get into the door as a project coordinator, right? That's what I did. Brute force my way in, okay? 
And then secondly, you got to be willing to learn, learn from your mistakes, and then grow, study certification, grow, take more certifications, keep applying what you're learning before you know it. You will get to the pinnacle. And when you get to the pinnacle, don't forget to bring someone else along for the ride. All right. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you. Look for details below. You take care and bye for now.